we have someone that's actually looking for a ship. If there happens to be one anywhere around, he is looking for a big ship. It is Captain Komonos, apparently. You to say that I was ship faced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right. All will be revealed. Oh. It's my St. Patrick's Day hat. St. <laughs> Saint. Saint Seaman. St. Patrick's Day, the day the town turns green, makes me think of all the Irish that were transported to the penal colony, Australia. And in the early 1800s, three quarters of the white population of Australia was of Irish descent before it became the land of opportunity. St. Patrick's Day makes me think of the very nature of Australian society and its history. It makes me question my own positioning and how I fit in, how I came to be an Australian in Australia. My mother's father, Mick Mangos, came to Australia in 1908 from an island in Greece, Castellorizon, a tiny island in the Aegean surrounded by sea, the 13th island of the Dodecanese, or Castelloroso, as the Italians called it, or its red castle left by the Crusaders. He came to Kalgoorlie as a 12 year old, not to dig for gold, but to make his fortune working in his uncle's cafe, servicing the miners. He worked in the Vesti Meatworks in Darwin till the strike of 1918 closed them down. Then he cut cane in Innisfail for two years until he settled in a cafe in South Melbourne in 1920. My mother was born in Windsor in 1928. She grew and attended Presentation Convent and the Emily McPherson School of Domestic Science to prepare her for marriage. My other grandfather, Komnenos Zervos, was a captain of a three-masted sailing ship. He hauled charcoal from Turkey to be taken to Lebanon and Egypt and all around the Mediterranean. Modernisation, the steamship, Europe between the wars meant Grandpa Komnenos lost his work, lost his ship, lost his dignity and lost his family and died an alcoholic in Cairo. He sent my father to Australia in 1936 when he was 15 to work in an uncle's cafe in Richmond to send money home for his mother and nine brothers and sisters back home on the island, Castellorizo. And after the war, after the homes had been bombed and the island evacuated by the British to refugee camps in Egypt, my father brought them all to Australia in 48. So at the mission to seafarers on St Patrick's Day, my mind turns to sailors and seas, to boat people and white people, to the sound of Formula Ones racing in the background, jets and helicopters overhead, <laughs> the green beer and green piss. And I stop a while to ponder where I am and where I've come from and where that we might go. Thank you.